नमस्कार आई एम डी वेलकम सी यूनिट डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ सिक्सटीन सेप्टेम्बर सो इफ वी लुक एट ए स्टडीज रियलाइज रेनफॉल ए स्टडी इन वेस्टर्न पार्ट्स ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश रिकॉर्ड ब्रेकिंग रेनफॉल एक्सेप्शनली वी रेनफॉल ऑफ द ऑर्डर ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव सेंटीमीटर रिपोर्टेड इन बैतूल डिस्टिक इन भीमपुर स्टेशन सो अदरवाइज अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ बेलमार्क लोपेज एरिया ओवर ईस्टर्न पार्ट्स ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश गुड अमाउंट ऑफ रेनफॉल रिपोर्टेड ओवर मध्य प्रदेश साउथ ईस्ट राजस्थान विदर्भा and these areas and very heavy rainfall also reported over himachal pradesh punjab one or two one or two stations very heavy rainfall reported also over one or two stations over south central karnataka otherwise heavy rainfall reported over uttarakhand arunachal pradesh gujarat region northern parts of madhya maharashtra coastal karnataka and kerala so this is the realized rainfall if we see the today's highlights so there is a bell mark low pressure area over west central madhya pradesh today and uh, second point i have mentioned here that exceptional heavy rainfall reported of the order of 45 cm in betul districts of uh, west madhya pradesh third point i have mentioned here, here that isolated extremely heavy rainfall very likely over south west madhya pradesh south east rajasthan gujarat region and uh, today and tomorrow that is on 16th and 17th over north madhya maharashtra on 16th that is today and gujarat region during 16 to 18th september with there is a possibility of exceptionally heavy rainfall a rainfall more than 30 cm may likely to record by one or two stations over uh, south west madhya pradesh eastern parts of gujarat region today so this is the highlights for today and if we see that today's cloud imagery and uh, uh, satellite uh, satellite imagery and synoptic system you will see that a study is uh, Low Belmar low pressure area lies over eastern parts of Madhya Pradesh. Today it is over west central parts of Madhya Pradesh, and the trough monsoon trough lies south of its northern position, and its extends up to 3.1 km above mean sea level. There is a western disturbance over Afghanistan region, and there is a cyclone circulation in Punjab, and another cyclone circulation in mid tropical levels over North and Mansi. So these are the some of the some of the synoptic systems today. But however, under the influence of this low pressure area and its movement. Uh, Towards north Gujarat and south east Rajasthan during next two days there is a possibility of very good amount of rainfall during next two days over south east Rajasthan western parts of Madhya Pradesh and also during next two or three days over Gujarat and Saurashtra region. Accordingly, uh, we have uh, here uh, five days weather warning map. So this is valid for next 24 hours. You will see that red color is given to south east Rajasthan, south west Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat region today. I am meaning thereby there is a possibility of extremely heavy rainfall likely uh, at one or two stations over southeast Rajasthan, western parts of Madhya Pradesh, especially southwest Madhya Pradesh and eastern parts of uh, Gujarat region, with a possibility of extremely heavy, exceptionally heavy rainfall of the order of more than 30 cm also recorded over uh, eastern parts of Gujarat region and southwestern parts of Madhya Pradesh. Otherwise, very heavy to extremely heavy rainfall at one or two stations also likely to record over northern parts of Madhya Maharashtra, and heavy rainfall is expected uh, today over. Uh, this uh, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, uh, western parts of uh, Rajasthan, North Konkan, Marathwada, coastal Karnataka, South Indian Karnataka, and Tamil Nadu. There is a little possibility of heavy rainfall also over Andaman and Kovar Islands during next 24 hours. So, this map is valid for 17th. You will see that the activity likely to continue over southeast Rajasthan, western parts of Madhya Pradesh, and also over Gujarat region uh, tomorrow also. And very heavy rainfall is expected over southwest Rajasthan and Konkan region. And heavy rainfall is expected over northern parts of Madhya Maharashtra, Saurashtra, and Kutch region. And heavy rainfall is, is also likely over Uttarakhand, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura, and Tamil Nadu region. There is a possibility of continuation of the heavy rainfall spell over and over Nicobar Islands tomorrow also. If you see the map of 18th, you will see that there is a possibility of reduction of rainfall over Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. However, there is a possibility of continuation of the spell of rainfall over Gujarat region on 18th as well. And uh, there is a possibility of increase of rainfall. Over Saurashtra and Kutch region from 18th of September, and heavy rainfall is expected over southwest Madhya Pradesh, southwest Rajasthan. Extremely heavy rainfall over Gujarat region, and very heavy rainfall over Kutch region on 18th. Heavy rainfall also likely over Assam, Meghalaya, and Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura. And there is a possibility of continuation of the heavy rainfall over and around the Kovar Islands on 18th. On 19th, there is a possibility of a significant reduction of rainfall over Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan region. However, the spell likely to continue with heavy to very heavy rainfall over Gujarat state. 
Rebir and Paul is very likely to, likely to start over Odisha at Assembly Pockets from 19th of September and heavy rainfall is expected over Assam Meghalaya and Nagaland Manipur Mujam Tupra on 19th of September. If you see the map of 20th September, you will see that there is a significant reduction of rainfall, especially heavy rainfall spell over most parts of the country, including Gujarat. Only there is a possibility of heavy rainfall at one or two stations over Kutch region, and uh, there is a possibility of heavy rainfall over Odisha and Northeast India on 20th. Now we will see the district-wise warnings of Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, and Gujarat. So this is a map of Rajasthan. You will see that this extreme southeast Rajasthan likely to see very heavy to extreme rainfall on today and tomorrow and this Madhya Pradesh especially southwest Madhya Pradesh is likely to experience very heavy to extreme, extremely heavy rainfall with possibility of exceptionally heavy rainfall of the order of more than 30 cm of uh, these regions especially extreme southwest Madhya Pradesh region. The same condition likely to continue today and with a little reduction tomorrow but a spell will continue on tomorrow also for Madhya Pradesh especially southwest Madhya Pradesh. If you see the map of Gujarat region this is day one map. You will see that this adjoining districts of Madhya Pradesh, especially Chota, Udaipur, etc., are likely to experience this very heavy to extremely, extremely heavy rainfall with a possibility of exceptionally heavy rainfall also likely over these regions at one or two stations. So, this is map valid for day two. You will see that uh, this rain spell is likely to continue but will increase and reach up to the Ahmedabad region also with a possibility of heavy, heavy rainfall. This map is valid for day 3. You will see the northern parts of Gujarat, especially Kutch and adjoining districts, uh, like to experience very heavy to extremely heavy rainfall. Unknown day 4, there is a possibility of reduction of rainfall uh, on day 4, that is uh, on 19th of uh, September, but there is a possibility of very heavy rainfall likely to continue over northern parts of uh, Gujarat, especially Kutch and adjoining districts, shown here by orange and yellow color. So, these are the weather warning for Gujarat. Now, under the influence of uh, continuation of the spell of extremely rainfall over the region of southwest Madhya Pradesh, southeast Rajasthan, eastern parts of Gujarat region and northern parts of Madhya Maharashtra, there is a possibility of a flash flood. Accordingly, flash flood guidance is issued by IMD for west Madhya Pradesh, especially southwest Madhya Pradesh, southern parts of east Rajasthan, Gujarat region and the adjoining area of northern parts of Madhya Maharashtra. So, you can visit our website for more detail about the flash flood guidance. And accordingly, you can visit our website mosam.imd.gov.in and you also visit our Facebook and Twitter pages for uh, more and more updated information related to weather warnings. So this is all about today. We will assemble again tomorrow with updated information. Till then, Namaskar, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.